Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at uh, AwesomeCast.net for the mini awesome cast for the day on this March 16th, 2015. And the story of the day, uh, what's caught my interest at least, is the story from The Verge that Windows 10 will be free for some software pirates. Hmm. Now, it does go on in this article kind of saying, you know, a lot of people kind of pick up their PCs and, uh, you know, depending on where they're getting them from, may not even know they have pirated uh, versions of Windows 10 so or Windows software. Um, so they're just kind of allowing it, you know, and this is kind of a limited time offer that they're allowing anybody with Windows 7 and 8, um, you know, presumably before uh, uh, legitimately. And now we're finding otherwise. Um, you're allowing them to upgrade to Windows 10, at least for this first year that's going to be out in the public. Um, so I think, that, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, I, and I'm looking at this is a, this really does apply to people, not just the, yeah, I'm going to steal that Windows 7 yeah, kind of thing. I'm going to get positive. I'm going to get a patch for that genuine advantage or, or I want to use this, uh, this, uh, this corporate number, account number that's been floating around that'll get anybody in here, right? Um, I mean, that that's, you know, that's the kind of stuff that happens. You know, I remember, you know, you could get keys from versions of software on, uh, or software on, uh, 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 you know, in, in school for Microsoft products, and you could just install it. You know, um, you know that kind of stuff. It, but it, you know, you get a nice, legitimate, kind of a fresh start on this, and I think it's really nice to see. Um, you know, myself, I, you know, my wife's computer, uh, she has a legitimate. You know, Windows came with Windows Seven, and then something happened to the drive. That restored disk was corrupted. I had a uh, Windows 7 update disk laying around here, and uh, we stick it in there, and we one, we can't technically use it because it'll let you install, but it won't let you use the code because it didn't come from a previous version of Windows because usually I had to wipe the drive because the thing corrupted. Um, and now I have a non-genuine version on a computer that should have a genuine version. Oh, skip the step there. Um, the code actually wiped off the bottom of it it got worn off so now i don't have any code that she legitimately owns for a, a version of windows but this is the kind of thing that i hope this kind of thing solves let me know what you think about the uh windows 10 uh being very very open to people <laughs> i'm also wondering oh windows xp there's this picture on here of windows xp uh with the code on it. i'm like i wonder if that code works but I re <laughs> So there you go. Um, but I wish it did. I wish, geez, I wish they just let me upgrade to everything with Windows XP. Not that I really wanted it on all these studio computers down here. But anyways, uh, let us know. Awesomecast.net. Comments to this video at Awesomecast on the Twitter. And I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.